five, four, three, two, one. Sink. Sink. Hello, everybody, and welcome to TTV Talks. This is Ven. I'm Messina. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. And I am Takuma Nuba. Obviously, I'm not alone this time. <laughs> Got <laughs> anyway. that flow. I think this is the first one that has uh, more than four people. If I had to wager, yeah, this is a this is a special occasion. Yeah, yeah because for some is. odd reason. When we set up rules, <laughs> ha, screw rules. We don't stick to any rules, even if they're our own. Yeah, it's so true. I mean, like Kai's been on almost every TTV talks thus far. Yeah, and I'm Kahi. deleting all of your guys' AMAs right as we speak. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why, Why would, would you, you do, do something like that, Ven? Because I don't like any of you. Uh, Ven, if cruel. anyone should get their AMA deleted, it's Well, yours. guess we know who's dying first in the RPG. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> no, I think our AMAs are fine. Leave them alone. Yeah, Mine leave isn't me even alone. Open anymore. Don't be a bully. Alright, well, we all might disagree on a couple of things, such as... Oh, why Why are you still alive, Meso? I don't think you should be alive. While we all might disagree on some things, I'm, think, I'm thinking that there's one thing all of us here can agree on. It's that Avatar, The Last Airbender, <laughs> is a brilliant series, and we are oh going to discuss God. it here. Oh my yeah, goodness. segue, though. <laughs> oh, I disagree. Oh, it's like, wow. if, if, if I had a box of chips, like... Like crackers, like rice crackers. I opened that box, I put it back in the cabinet, and then a year later I brought it back. They probably would still be less stale than that segue. That was hey. an awesome segue. This was an amazing segue. Don't patronize them, uh, so That that segue was certainly uh, interesting. It was awesome. But hey, it's oh, it's awesome. I mean, let's not, awesome. let's not dwell on it. And go forward before we're supposed we to talk about Avatar. it, apparently. Yeah. I, 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 I only oh, watched on. it, like, uh... Actually, I watched a good bit of it on the train ride to NYCC, but I finished it afterwards. It's a I was cool gonna, show. I wanted to segue with, like, a YouTube video, and the RB and the Chief, and then, like, segue into Wait, the what? bet that we had that but that got no. you to watch Avatar. Basically, Venom just uh... just had to. Oh, yeah. Basically, I... Meso and I had a deal about last year. Meso wanted Monk me to watch this online series called RB and the Chief. And he said, I want you to watch the entire uh, season before the season finale comes out. I said, all right, I'll do this, but only if you watch Avatar The Last Airbender. Because it's basically <laughs> like, it's basically the more successful and well-told version of Bionicle in a way. I mean, take the robots out, but you know, there's the elemental bending and like the, on a, like this kind of tribal, you know, thing and, you know, every, all that hodgepodge stuff. And, uh, Meso was like, hard sure. Hard. And Meso did not complete his edit the bargain for like. Not for like a whole year. <laughs> for like a whole year, oh basically. Goodness. I, I did it. I did it that week. That week, I, I watched Arby the Chief and Meso was like, alright, I'll, I'll get around to it. And like a year hey, later, he finally to, did it. To my credit, I tried watching it and I don't know what it was. I was not that gripped by the first like two or three episodes. Very dull to watch and I just kind of lost interest. And then I said, oh, well, I'm taking a 30-hour train ride, and that would be a good time. And I oh, got in New York. Hooked by, yeah. like, the fifth episode. <laughs> so, hey. It's good to do. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome what, show. Like, nearly everybody in this group, like, likes this show. It's a viper. Well, it's actually, those, do we know if X likes it? It's one of those few things where a lot of us... I don't know. I don't know anything about X. Truth an enigma. Be told. But yeah. Well, that's why I didn't. I'm not regarding him when I say that. Pretty yeah. much all of us here have that in common, have that interest in common besides Bionicle and Marvel. Yeah. Truth Avatar is a wonderful, wonderful show. And go ahead, go. Ahead. Uh, so truth be told, I did not watch Avatar until very shortly before Legend of Korra came out. Same. I had, I, I had friends that, that were telling me over and over and over and over and over again, you gotta watch the show, you gotta watch the show, you gotta watch the show. And I was <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> maybe someday, eh, later, <laughs> eh, I don't Maybe know. someday. Finally sat down to watch it and I was like, well, I was an idiot for waiting this long. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. Great series. And it ages really well, because when I got into the series, I was a lot younger. Like, I started watching the series when it first came out. I remember the day that it debuted on Nickelodeon. Oh, man. And I was like, hey, this looks kind of cool. So I watched it. And I, well, being my younger self, it appealed to me quite easily, despite all the cheesiness that was in, like, the first couple of episodes. Yeah. The show's trying to find its footing. Yeah, that that's what kind of put me off. It was a lot of joking antics. And to be fair... It kept, it keeps that tone kind of throughout the show, but it balances it a lot better. Yeah, it's, it's got yeah, comedy and it's got drama and an action and a good plot, and it's it's the perfect balance of everything Bionicle tried to do over the years. I yeah. and to it a- goes along with what I was saying that it ages well because it matured with its audience. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's actually really true. Yeah, or Bionicle say- did too. We had gritty, free the band and chain link. As, as All the right, show, that's enough. As the show progressed, you know, and got into its later seasons, it became a lot more mature. Had more dark undertones. Got a bit more serious. Mm-hmm. It's pretty great, man. Yeah, and then of course it returned with Cora, which was ever more dark and serious. Mm. With. I mean, most of all Korra's villains are, like, political villains. But, I mean, you know, that's for the second part of his, uh... Don't break discussion. the immersion! Whoa. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> you know, honestly, when... I actually, like, Venom remember when the show came out. Because a while back, when I lived in a different place in time, my neighbor, he really liked cartoon shows, because he was several years younger than I was. And he'd watch Avatar, so he'd, like, have it on TV when I went over next door, and he's like, oh, it's Avatar. Okay. Oh, and it's I'd, Avatar. I'd, Gross. I'd complete, Get rid of that. I'd completely ignore it. And I remember when it ended, and I moved on. Well, then, while I was <laughs> on BZ Power, the the blogs started lighting up with, Oh, man, Korra! Korra! The ending of Korra! So instead of going back and watching Avatar and then watching the entire first season of Korra, I watched the last season of the uh, last episode of the first season of Korra, spoiled it, went all the way back, watched the entire first season of Korra, went all the way back from that, and then watched all of Avatar. Elder, you seem to just like, you seem to just like (laughs) spoiling good experiences for yourself. Like, you you read the the entirety of Breaking Bad on a wiki. No, he didn't. He watched. He no, watched no, no, no. He recap. watched a bunch and of recap. Then, where and he then was, ah. I read oh, the, how that ended on the wiki. Yeah, that's actually very true. Uh, I did both. But I mean, uh, well, I, that's breaking bad thing, recap though. reviews. Either way, you ruined it. You ruined it. <laughs> I just TTV I didn't want to go through bad. all that muck and fuss. And uh, gotta set up the <laughs> characters. I mean, look at Muscle. <laughs> he didn't care for the first few episodes. And personally, the first few episodes are fine and whatnot. But. It, it was just too what? slow, so I just sped the process wow. along. It, it worked out in the end, right? That, that's so, well, okay, all right. That's so this how is what you say. Storytelling. I skip out. Of, yeah, I skip out on really Avatar. Up, all right, you skip yeah. out on Avatar. You <laughs> skip out on Breaking Bad, but somehow I skip out on the Bionicle books, and that's a heinous crime. Okay, Come on. no, no. Listen up, here. Heinous. 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 Fine. It looks like it's pronounced oh, no, heinous, no. Takuma. Come on. Here's what's wrong with you. Okay, you were trying to speak as if you had read the books and whatnot. No, I was specifically giving is, an argument well, no, like no, no, I no, hadn't wait, read no, the books. Both, Here it comes. Case, you, both Lincoln. you and LJ are bad because I caught LJ one time trying to talk about Breaking Bad as if he had watched it. <laughs> Stupid. Well, freaking. Okay. Anyway, it was a very good. I mean, I read some of the books. They were. <laughs> Tell they're me. okay, they're not the There's no of such thing as good recaps. Oh, yeah, look Avatar. at your reviews, they're lame Just look at your reviews, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, VAR, when I was trying to watch, I was trying to decide what to watch on the train, and I forget who suggested it. I forget if it was VAR or Kahi that I watched Korra before Avatar, and then kind of go backwards, because we were going to try to watch the, get into the Korra panel at NYCC, oh, and that right. failed epically. <laughs> No, I wouldn't have had it not been for you, Bozos. No, your your strategy was so flawed. And it would have (laughs) worked. It would have worked if it had not been for the food. Anyway, off off topic. Yeah, I I was debating whether to do that, and I ended up saying, you know what, no. This is such a revered show, I would be doing a disservice to the program if I watched it in inverse order. I have to absorb the full storytelling experience and watch it in chronology. (laughs) I mean, chronological order. It's important. 
you gotta have character establishment slash development <laughs> over least, the course of the time. Okay, at least you did it semi correctly. Right. Semi? <laughs> what did I do? I mean, was like. Correct? Well, okay, I don't want to spoil some of your people who haven't watched Korra, so I won't tell anything about what goes on in Korra. This is just for Avatar. Uh, but there are certain characters that return. I don't think that's too much of a spoiler in Korra. And yeah. so you miss you miss a bit of that kind of like, oh, it's this character if you go and watch Korra first. Exactly. That's one of the reasons I didn't do it. It's kind of like prequels also. Right. You know, you know certain characters make it out okay out of all the danger because they're... You know, you're alive in the initial source material. If you invert that, right. it's kind of the same thing. All so, right, so I'm glad I watched Avatar first. It's a great show. What are your, what do you guys like? What's your favorite episode of Avatar? Let's get that started. Oh, My God. favorite uh, episode. How of many Avatar. of them? Sixty episodes or something? Yeah. Well, I mean, the finale was cool. The finale was basically almost a perfect finale. It came very, very close. Had it not been for the cliffhanger, it probably would have been up there. Um, yeah. I don't see that but, as a problem. But it's it's in it's in the books, Meso. If only you'd read the books, then it's you the would know. The books are not the central point of Avatar. You oh, shut are... up! We've been through all this already. Books TV Battle part Royale Part Two. No, that's gonna be its own video. Just the debate corners coming back as a series. Oh man! Like, you know what? Wait, we one of my favorite episodes. I take it back. <laughs> totally one of my it. favorite episodes is the Blind Bandit. Uh, yes, yeah, I love that one. one. I really like the finale of season two, was where okay. they subvert yeah. your expectations in massive ways. That that episode. was right. You like, felt I, I, you felt the stab in the back. Mm-hmm. I thought everything was moving along at the pace, which, you know, had been okay, kind of foretold Okay, let's recap it, just for the people who don't remember. Uh, the end Spoiler of alert! Spoiler Zuko alert. is right. gonna turn good, but he doesn't. Plot twist. Yeah. Yeah, but he right. doesn't. <laughs> he was like, he was so close to it. Like, Katara's like gonna heal his face and stuff, and we're like, okay, cool. He's not gonna be like this for the rest of his life. And then, man... I'm like, nope, he does completely wow, yeah, yeah. That sums but then it up. Iroh, man. <laughs> That's a great recap. Man. man. <laughs> Iroh, like, steps in and does his uh, trademark Dragon of the West thing. Is that what he called him? The Dragon of the West? Or something like I that? I think so. No, no. Yeah. Is, yeah, is that? Of, yeah. I actually don't remember. But Iroh I think, is you, best I think you're right, but. It, it was something with a dragon. <laughs> it's like. Dragon of the West. Eh. Everyone Old that watched the show, Dragon of the West. Zuko was basically the second main character, and coming from me just watching the show, I'm the person that's seen it most recently for the first time. I knew from the very beginning he was probably going to end up being an ally of theirs. It was just a waiting game. Yeah. So I thought, okay, it's kind of cliche, Shatter but we've we, we've paced it. We've gotten to that point, but then nope, it's going to be extended, and it didn't come off as feeling contrived. It was very true to the character. Right. Of Zuko, that he would make that choice at that particular moment. It didn't feel out of place. And that's really what I appreciated about it. It's, you, you stick to the characters and their motivations and their way of thinking, and you don't subvert that for a plot point. That's the mistake 2005 made with Vakama. Ah. Oh, so gosh, I really, yeah. I enjoy it when characters don't. Like, I, I value character growth, but not out of nowhere. That's the point of Tournament. Yeah. Right. So, so I, I listened really to like a that. podcast with the actual creators of the show, and uh, they were talking about like how I mean they 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 planned Zuko to be a good character like from the beginning, like he was going to turn over the course of the series, and they actually originally they planned for him to uh, to turn at that episode, and I think somebody stopped them and they're like, you know what? So you you know and everybody else knows that he's going to be you know he's going to turn eventually. He should get worse before he gets better. And that's where they decided to pull the whole thing of him betraying, uh, like, you, you expect him to turn here, and he betrays Katara, uh, he kind of betrays his uncle in the same way, uh, Azula kind of almost, from what you can tell, she basically kills Aang, and she also neuters his, like, deus, deus ex machina superpower it's thing. It's the Avatar spirit, not deus ex machina. It's the Avatar State Meso. Oh, oh my bad. Okay, so I there, think... is, there is one problem I have with this. 
the whole, I mean, it was neat that, you know, it got worse before it got better, but then I feel like that kind of defeated the point of his whole metamorphosis. What do you mean? Well, because he, cause he went to that spell where he was, you know, really sick and getting better, and then right after he's like, oh, yeah, I'm all cheerful and stuff, and I've got, like, inner oh, peace and junk. But then right. that was like, the fact, because he got worse before he got better, that kind of seemed to make that irrelevant. Fair enough. I, I can't it's like, what was the that. point? It's like, hey, it may be better for a day. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I mean, I maybe it's just trying to hone into the point that, like, people don't actually change over the course of one day or one fever. Mm-hmm. Like, it's... Yeah, like, he, he finally got what he's been wanting his entire life. Like, not just for the entirety of the show. His entire life he's wanted approval from his father. So... Yeah. The fact that he was able to get it, and that that temptation was just too good to I mean, yeah, you know, to that. let slide, right? I thought the fever was pretty contrived, so I'm glad they did. They kind of undid that, right? It didn't did make that particular subplot worthless in hindsight, so I can see where he's coming from. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's a very valid con- uh, critique, I guess. There My is my favorite episode is the oh, all right, do you want to say something real quick on this? Uh, I was just gonna say there is an episode. That we do have to mention. We can't not mention this episode at some point. What episode? The Ember Island Players. I was just going to say that's oh, my favorite yeah. episode. Literally, oh, yeah, I was yeah, just going to mention about this episode. That. I completely forgot that episode existed. Yeah, that's my favorite episode. Hand down. It was it such is. an ingenious and fresh take on the recap formula. It is... Oh. It's <laughs> like... It's like a clip show, almost a clip show without being a clip show. Where it catches you right. and everything, but it's not just a bunch of rehashed footage and i like Y'all. they're able to and make fun accurate. of themselves too oh yeah I'm, i wouldn't be at least bit surprised if they were making fun of the movie that came out too yeah yeah that the, the oh, ending yeah, part is yeah, completely yeah. directed at the movie yeah it's like well that was uh that was terrible well, the effects were decent <laughs> <laughs> toss yeah, toss great. counterpart was probably the best oh <laughs> yes there, I got a good look at you. <laughs> I'm top. Nice Zuko costume, yeah. but your scar's on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love, I love that too. It's like a cosplayer almost. Mm-hmm. It was a grand, grand episode. It, it really like the 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 amount that they make fun of themselves is just fantastic in the episode. Like they're talking about like Jet's death and stuff, and they're like, "Did he? Oh, did yeah. he really die?" It was really unclear. It's like, in hindsight, it was really unclear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, man. I wonder what's they, your favorite episode. They skip the canyon. And they're like, oh, there's a canyon down there. Yep. And they just skip that episode. <laughs> oh, that, that stupid episode. I oh, actually, that's yeah. actually, uh, I really like that episode. I really do. You actually like Why? that? I like that episode because it subverts what, like, you're normally taught to as a kid. Like, oh, you know, pe- war and peace and everything. Don't argue, whichever. All arguments can be easily settled. And at the end, Eng's like, nope, they were just stupid. I couldn't get them to do anything, so I just lied about it. And now they're happy, so look at that. It works. That is kind of strange. It, no, yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing. It's kind of weird that Ang would do that. Right. It, I, I will admit it does not fit with his character at all. But no, it, it, it's really definitely doesn't. something that someone like uh, like Varric, who's in Korra, would do. But I oh, yeah. feel like it's an interesting it's an interesting twist on that take. In I which yes, but it was like it was so irrelevant to the rest of the series. Hmm. It was. No, I'll I'll give you that. But I'll what's I your just but that's that's why I like it. It's like a subversive like really, cliche. No mess so. eh. No. Yeah, sure, it beats a cliche, but at the same time it's it didn't contribute anything important. And in fact it just made the hero look kinda like a like a jerk. I don't see how he's a jerk for doing it. It worked out, right? Everybody was, they stopped treat, like they, he stopped a feud, even though it was over a lie. It was a stupid feud to begin with. Meh. But, I mean, I'm not saying it's my favorite episode. I just like it. Like, I, a lot of people dislike it and I like it. But I, I don't think it's there's the best. There's something wrong with you. I'm trying to Then remember. again, there's something wrong with everybody here. Well, yeah. There, yeah. there was one specific episode where, after I watched it, that was kind of the point where I went from this show is okay to, oh my gosh, this is actually like a legit show. And I can't remember what the title of it is. It's like the one where um, 
It's okay, I don't really remember. Where Uncle Iroh is kind of together. explaining to the crew of the ship about Zuko's past. Oh, oh that one, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one where yeah. he's explaining that, that. why he's like he is, and he's so angry, and I cannot remember for the life of me which episode that is. Isn't that the same episode where they also go through uh, Aang's um, yeah. backstory, too, or... Uh, right, he kind of goes over the back, his backstory and how he got that, uh, how yeah, he they, ran away so, and everything. Yeah, so it goes over the backstory of both the hero and the villain. Right. Makes uh, parallels. And that, yeah, I thought that was a really good episode. Yeah, that was the I mean, episode where it was like, oh my gosh, it's, you realize how much depth there is to these characters. Right. Yeah. They have all these motivations. That was you the know, episode that really hooked me. Another episode I really like is the one where I think it's just called Tales of Ba Sing Se, where oh, okay. like they're they're all there, and the, I, I'm, I'm a really big fan of like character interaction episodes, like that scene in the like you know Avengers: Age of Ultron, that scene where they're all in you know Tony Stark's house and they're like trying to pull on Thor and Thor's hammer, Thor, yeah. Thor's hammer and stuff. Thor. Thor. I mean, I I love that kind of stuff. I love just characters pulling off each other and they're just having them. And Tales of Bossing Say is basically yeah. kind of that. And some of the ones are okay. You know, so most of the stories there are eh, a little iffy. Toph and Katara do like a girl makeover thing. and or, But Iroh's story <laughs> in that one. Iroh has like uh, like maybe a, a five, five to six minute thing of him going around and, you know, being nice to people. And then he goes and he, uh, he goes, like, sits on the hill and, like, honors his son, who died in the war. Oh, And he yeah. sits, oh my god, that Dude, was... Dude, that was, that... That was, that was that tough, guy, man. everybody in the fields. Oh, man. That's, that's why I have a love-hate relationship with this episode, is that I actually found it kind of boring personally and some of the some of the individual right. ones were good but others were just kind of boring i thought right the one with, i can't uh, i can't dislike oh no, the show is... because it's dedicated to the guy who used to voice uncle iroh right yeah and i can't be that scumbag Dude, who doesn't like uncle it. iroh is my favorite character throughout the series i was really mm-hmm. happy to see uh some stuff spoiler alert <laughs> to see that he kind of came back in uh Korra. Yeah, Uncle Iroh is pretty great. I remember there was that uh, that one episode where he was in prison, and he just revealed he was oh. buff all of a sudden. Right. I like that oh, I love that. <laughs> oh. like, yeah. There's one great scene where he's like, he he like someone gives him uh, a a bowl of rice, right? And he like kind of scarfs it down, and the guard goes away, and he like scoops the rice and puts it in the bowl and sits cross legged yep. and eats it with chopsticks. It's all prime. and then like That's great, and then he does like the thing where he he's. Bench press, like he's doing push ups, not bench pressing, he's doing push ups and clapping, you know, as he's going down. And then the guard comes in and he's just kind of like sitting in the thing, clapping. Swatting at imaginary flies. Right. Oh man, and he burst out of that cell once the Black Sun came. Yeah. The day of Black Sun. Dude, man, Uncle Iroh. You, you don't mess with Uncle Iroh. Yeah, man. No, that's a terrible idea. So, real quick, favorite episode? Probably. The one that sticks out to me was Sokka's master. I like that. Oh, that yeah. was really another one. That was awesome. Sokka's master. I liked that one because yeah, it's the one where he he became a swordsman. Sokka kind of oh. is like he got his identity back after losing his boomerang or whatever. And um right. I do have to point this out. Have you, any of you people heard of a show it's on YouTube called Man at Arms? Yes. I have, and they made Sokka's meteor sword. There is an episode where they make Sokka's meteor sword, and they actually use meteor. Oh, that guy! Yeah, yeah. You should should go look that up. It is awesome because they go through the whole process of how they make the sword. Wow. So, what about your least favorite episodes? Uh, Before Uh, I was gonna, uh, I forgot one thing before on best episode. Zuko alone. Does anybody remember that one? Oh yeah. Who yeah, that that's oh, never. Zuko alone. Like, Zuko alone Hunt's never like really. Uh, Zuko alone was pretty great. Yeah, Except the one where he goes to town to this one town, right? And uh, he meets a kid. And right, he right, right. Him at the very end of the episode, he gives him a weapon and, a weapon, and then the kid a suddenly becomes violent. Your ah! so was, right. a, again, that was a very real interaction that I believe would have happened. Not the contrived stuff like, oh, I can see through your right. identity because I know you. That that kid probably doesn't have that level of maturity. He probably no, would have yeah. said that. So I liked that. I felt it was true, too. I, I like that it subverted that cliche again. 
I'm a big fan of that. Worst episode. That's a good. That's a good thing, LJ. I think I forget what it's called. Is it? Is it the painted lady? It's ah, the it's one the where lady. like that was yep. my least favorite. That was the one. It's I was it's the one where like lady. Katara and like she pretends to be this one person, and it's all like this kind of like super heavy environmental message, which is really cliche, and there's not really yeah. anything to it. That's I hate oh, that the most. A little yeah. more heavy handed than I yeah. Get the whole environmental message out of that, but you, no, it, it was like. Uh, you should watch it again. Like it's very clear. Like they show well, I mean, like, the factory I know what you're saying, but that I the fire, like that the fire truck, that they're trying to make a point or something. It felt more. I mean, I got it. I thought Fair it, enough. I it's thought not it was like Avatar, organic. the movie. Weren't there a couple of other episodes in the series that are kind of like that? Kind of like environmentalist. Yeah, a nah, little. Uh, uh, but that one stands few, out. Like most. But Painted Lady was the one where they really said, "You know, we really want to discuss this right now." So. Here, let's actually yeah. just give it to Oh, okay. Entirely. Here, here's another one. Here's another one I, I dislike. Oh, go on. Well, Sorry. What's another one you dislike? Like. Th- there are actually a few that aren't... Water, the right. waterbending master. That one. Where he's uh, like, oh, that, that <laughs> girls can't learn waterbending. And you're like, oh, of course. Okay, Guess I, what's oh, going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of that. Okay, yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. it's just because Katara, they really wanted to make Katara very strong. Mm. But every time they showed Katara being strong... They focused on it so much, it became more. It became the writing became more obvious than it being about the characters. Right. It's more about the right. people who I'm are with writing you. it. I'm with you. And it's, that, that's a level something of Avatar subtlety. occasionally does suffer from, where the writers usurp characters. Most of the times, they have enough subtlety to mask it, but sometimes they it kind of falters. A little and bit those like normally end up being the worst mm-hmm. episodes. So yeah, it's right. kind of like the one. <laughs> and yeah, they just anyway. have to make sure it's organic in the way they tell it. Right. It's just there's there's some episodes that like, especially the water bedding master, where you know, you know, as soon as the episode, you're like, I know his how this is gonna play out. And when they subvert it, like they do in uh, the season two finale, that all right, that works. I really like the season two finale because it subverts that. But with the waterbending master, you, like, you know, he, he can't be like, he can't end the episode going like, girls still can't do this. He's gotta, you know, he's gonna, and, and Katara's gonna face him, and like, then, oh, part, girls can be everything fam- too. Her family and whatnot. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I used to date your grandmother, and then something happened, and that's why I hate girls now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, and then didn't, didn't, didn't they like she? Yeah, he meet the grandmother again or something? Yep. Or at the at that? the very end, it's just like, oh hey, I I'm your grandfather now, and they're like, what? And he's like, yeah, I went back and we rekindled our romance, and now I'm a water bending master and your grandfather, and they're like, oh, wow. oh okay, okay, <laughs> sure. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's man. it's not a perfect show, but there's the good far outweighs the bad. Oh, like, for Appa's Lost agree. Days! God, I just remembered that one. Wait, what? what, what? It's the one lost. Where Appa's <laughs> lost, and then like he he gets badly oh. treated by all these people, <laughs> and they're like, "Be nice to animals, don't be nice." Uh, sh- screw you, screw you, Avatar. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, to show of course, I hate that episode. Honestly speaking, that just didn't interest me. I mean, I'm not heartless like Kahi over here, but it wasn't just interesting. That's no, yeah, no, it, it. it wasn't an interesting episode. It, it was Kahi, like, it was would so you warm. would you eat Appa? Would I eat Appa? Dude, what does that mean? Meat. Like, well, you, okay, wait, wait, are you asking, like, you, are you asking Kahi down? if you would just eat Appa eat or if you would eat Sky Bison in general? Appa, Appa is like Aang's pet. It's like Aang's dog. Like his pet yeah, dog. I, I know. Okay, I, what you, I'm saying because is like, if it's a pet, Appa, the first thing you automatically go to is dog instead of like parakeet like, or something. Are you are you actually <laughs> asking like? Are you saying like I eat uh, like the specific Appa like in front yes. of Aang, or do <laughs> or I just eat Sky Bison? Bison. Yeah. I'm saying I'm saying if you were like about to die, <laughs> but Aang would like get really mad at you and probably kill you, would you like eat Appa? If I was about to die, yeah, yeah, I, t- I totally, I would totally eat <laughs> nice. Appa. I might wow. eat Aang. Well, if I was about to die. It's like, <laughs> hey, he's gonna die anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, like, would go I mean, bad right, you could eat it. I all. wouldn't. Like, there's a difference between, like, a pet and, like, an animal in that, like, some people really care for their pets, and like, it'd be cruel to eat somebody's pet in front of them. But, like, Sky Bison? Yeah, I totally eat Sky Bison. But, I mean, like, you know, if it was, like, Like I said, man, Appa, it's a lot yeah. of meat. I know. You, you could, could probably gain the power to fly if you do it, too. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> like, they would, 
they learned the airbending through. How in the world do these things even fly? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you see, Ven, what, what it's happens? It's like their tails. With they, their they tails can... a platypus tail, and they slam it on the ground, and then that gives them propulsion. So they aren't really flying, just avoiding gravity with style. <laughs> their platypus tail. Platypus tail. <laughs> Why not a beaver tail? It, in his <laughs> defense, Why really not a platypus tail? Not a, not a, not a huh, beaver Takuma? tail. Well, have you never because... heard of a platypi? A platypi? <laughs> yes, I've heard of a platypus. They're one of my favorite animals. I'm just saying. What the heck is a platypus? At... I'm talking about platypi. A usually, platypus when pie. someone looks you at a platypus, you literally said they say platypus. it has a beaver Ven, tail. Then so I saying. think that's ludicrous. Everyone knows it's platypi. No, and there's the no plural. such thing as ludicrous. L- listen, everyone knows that it's platypi, and the the plural and everyone is Everyone knows platypies. that you're full of it. it, it screw it, yourself, dude. They're kind of food. Gosh. I don't doubt it. Uh, let's but see. A uh, Nightmares and Daydreams is also a really good it. episode. Which one was that? The one where Ang can't. Uh, no one can. Well, the plural of platypus or is platypus. But oh, Ang yeah. is having no, a lot Aang. of delusions, and he's seen things like the Guru with all those arms, and Ang and sorry, Appa and what, what's a, a Momo oh, fighting Momo? like a sword? Yeah, and, and, a, and a samurai thing. Yeah, that was like, a, that that a, lot a lot of uh, uh, a lot of funny moments. In that That's episode. a really funny episode. I, 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 yeah, but I don't really like it, honestly. Wow, you suck. Why it was okay. I, I just, I just, I thought we were discussing that's, episodes that's, that's, that we didn't that's, like. That's, I don't. Uh, like we're it. discussing both. This is intermediate. Okay, fine. Yeah, no, I, I don't really like that episode just because, I mean. Like the way it solves itself is like, oh, you know, the the Fire Lord realizes he's in his underwear. Ha ha ha! It was just kind of like, it's not dealing Juvenile, with the gravitas of the situation. Do you think? Do you think that the Fire Lord would want to continue fighting in that state of indecency? <laughs> I don't think he would really care. I mean, how much? Yeah, would you I do think the Fire Lord would just like make look at their actual fire final pants. battle. All he was wearing was his knickers. Yeah, his I didn't know that. Maybe they were like yoga pants, huh, Takuma? Do you yoga know? Pants. Do remember, you know? Remember, the Fire Lord wears LJ, yoga pants. Why would you bring up yoga pants? Why would you bring up personal Mr. experience? British? Maybe. So, no, so you remember you that episode where uh, <laughs> where Ang snuck in, where Ang snuck into like the Fire Nation school and taught all the oh. kids how to dance to break free. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, like did foot loose. they did a, they did a footloose, uh, p- like a footloose tribute. Yeah, that, I guess that was stupid. That was kind of weird. I I did not enjoy. <laughs> like, it, like, it was entertaining enough, but it was. I guess yeah. It's, I don't hate it, but I don't really. It's not one of my favorites either. It's super pointless. That was yeah. That one was the headband, right? Mm, yes. No. Oh, I where so. Ang had the headband. I, I don't. Yeah, think yeah. It where was he that got one. the yeah. fire costume. Oh, oh yeah. Well, maybe not then. We see Avatar dance. Was it? oh no yeah it was the headband. Oh yeah okay. Who wow. said it wasn't? LJ, surprise! Yeah, I, I said stupid. I wasn't sure. I, d- I didn't think that was. Uh huh. Oh, like okay. the after it. Meso, you're stupid. Out. No, Meso Someone said it was the headband. Stupid, oh wait, no. So. I, I remember now. There was another episode I disliked. I, 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 I disliked. I liked on the positivity spectrum. Kind of like the last episode of season two, the day of the black sun. I was just gonna yep. say that one. Oh, That's yes. a really great episode. That was another genius. subversion. It's, mm-hmm. it's almost kind of funny because that takes place. So long after the part where uh, Azula learns of their plan, that you almost kind of forget about it. Yeah, unless you watch the show, right? Like I did, because that happened. That was halfway that through episode, season two. Man. There was basically a whole season difference. Went so wrong. I know, unbelievable. But the one thing that really, like, I really enjoyed is that scene where Zuko uh, bends the lightning of his father back at him. Mm-hmm. That I just liked like, it when right. he was oh, talking was awesome. smack. He's like, I am going to join smack. the Avatar. Sucker. Yeah. Yeah, and then he, like, places his sword down. If we can discuss, like, chorus players just for another moment, I am a little disappointed no, that... No, chorus boy. ...that at the, uh, Zuko, well, I mean... This why is would you do this? Point. I haven't seen it yet. I know, I know. Yeah, Ka- 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 no, there, there's no point in discussing no, core spoilers no. yet. That's another episode. You can wait until then. No, no, it's not really a core spoiler. It's but just no, that no, Zuko's but it, it's it's about Korra and it's Korra related and it's Korra it's centered. It's not Korra related. Korra doesn't have any effect on this. We're talking about this. I know. I'm saying. I'm saying. I know at what the you're about to say. Okay, what am I about to say? 
You're about to talk about how Zuko didn't do the lightning thing when he was super old. No. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, great. Another spoiler. LJ was wrong. <laughs> and instead spoiled something else. No one is surprised. <laughs> Kahi, what were you... What, what, what's so Just Korra because you important? spoil everything for yourself, LJ, doesn't mean you have to do it to us. If Ouch. you wanted to know, you <laughs> should have seen you? the series, Vin. What were I you did gonna, see the series. What the were you going series? to say? I was saying that the thing with Zuko when he appears in Korra is that he rides a dragon. And that's never, like... It seems to come out of, like, left field, and they never really explain it in Korra. And the the dragons have a really big importance to Zuko in this in the uh, in this show. When, you know, he goes and rediscovers the secret, of, like, the, the, fire the element masters. of firebending. Yeah, when the firebending masters. And... So like that 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 thing I wish they would have explained more in Korra and like led into how you know how he came there and they, they, they never really expound on that. That's well, what I was going to say. Which isn't that much of a spoiler. Now, now it's, it's also a waste a of time. LJ, the how waste of time you? was you arguing with him. Takuma, why did he need to bring this up here? He could have just mentioned that in the what? Korra episode when we were LJ, why did we have to bring you up here? Why did we need to bring you up here? You and your platypus. Look, because because What's a platypus? I have to We've made it through this entire episode. Let's just take it in for a nice slow ending and not fight. Yeah, I was going to say, it <laughs> should probably end soon. Let's all stand around mm. a campfire and sing Kumbaya. Only if I get to push out the Do you even know how to sing Kumbaya? No, let's, let's, no, let's all watch that episode where Aang teaches all those kids to dance and just learn a thing or two, and then we'll go around the campfire. Wouldn't this be... The episode with the canyon or whatever it's called. What what is that one called? Yeah, the, the that, I was just talking about no, that. Not the serpent's pass. It's like the one where they go through. Uh, there's two tribes that are arguing with each other. Yeah, over some guys that have like the same name practically. Right, right. Was it bitter yeah, work? Was pretty... What 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 were their names again? I forget. Oh, Dude, I, I like, know. Jim and like a... Jim too. <laughs> I want to say the episode was called Bitter Work. Takuma and Makuta. I think it might have been the Serpents. There's also that one with, like, what, the... No, the Serpents nice, Pass is the where, um, Canyon, where, like, he to... and Katara have to, like... No, the, the Cave of Tula Yeah, wasn't the out. Serpents Pass with that pregnant woman? Yeah. Which oh, is I forgot, you're right, you're right. trying to right. get passage to Ba Sing Se or whatever, but they could oh. I think the only thing I liked about that episode was the Serpent. Yeah. I liked the <laughs> bit where uh, Toph thought Sokka, Sokka was the one who saved her. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was funny. You can let me drown now. <laughs> you know, I'll just mentioned a minute character. ago to Takuma Makuta. It's really sad that I've known you for a long time, and I just now realized your name's an Avatar. I've been saying that for years. Yeah, yeah. He, he's that has nothing that to do with time. Avatar. Carry on. Wow. Well, I know. <laughs> Avatar's a great show. Avatar's, Avatar's a pretty fantastic great. Man, show. Avatar was okay. It is everything. It was everything <laughs> I wish Bionicle could be. <laughs> Yeah, with a great movie and everything. Great right. theatrical okay. release. And a great ending. Yeah, I don't know. Avatar could have been better. <laughs> as soon as I have money, I've got a pile wow. of books. <laughs> Avatar we'll did that have, idea, LJ. Avatar <laughs> did have a lot of flaws. <laughs> but it's also a great example of how to properly tell a quote-unquote kid's story. I mean, I guess. I mean, I saw a recap of it once, it. and it, was, it seemed and right. And it. Yeah. Speaking of ending Making things. a show that's available to a very wide audience. Right. Mm-hmm. That that serves, like, both kids and adults can watch together. I think that's great. Lego should take some... I mean, Lego should take some I, I wish they were animals more. Yeah. I mean, the, the animals that wanted to watch it. But, yeah. Elder, could, you, could, you, could, you just, could you just once actually contribute to the discussion? <laughs> just once. Just once this episode. It's all, oh, you, I can't get a word in as job my on the podcast. Does instead it. of, like, putting out and antagonizing people, it's like one yeah, it's freaking thank contribution. Thank you, everybody, for listening to TTV uh, Talks. Yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, did we say our names again? Yeah, yeah that sounds yeah, like yeah, a good yeah, idea, that huh? Like an awesome idea. This is Ben. I'm Mesa. <laughs> I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. I'm Chikumanuba. And this has been TTV Screams episode <laughs> whatever. I don't know. It's not my job <laughs> episode, to keep track of episode. This is episode 11. Then. Episode 11. Episode 7. Alright, see you guys. We'll, we'll see you all next time. Goodbye.